He is best known for his roles in George of the Jungle and the Mummy trilogy. And Brendan Fraser looked dramatically different as he attended the No Sudden Move premiere during the Tribeca Film Festival in New York City on Friday. The actor, 52, who plays Jones in the movie, joined his fellow co-stars David Arbour, who plays Matt Wirtz, and John Hamm, who plays Joe Finney, at the screening. It comes after it was revealed earlier this year that Brendan is set to star as a 600 pounds recluse in the upcoming Darren Aronofsky directed film The Whale. Brendan looked stylish for the event in a black suit, blue shirt and patterned tie as he walked the red carpet. The actor finished his look with a silk pocket square and shiny black patent leather dress shoes. Other attendees at the star-studded premiere included his co-stars as well as Lily Allen, who is married to David Harbour. No Sudden Move, set in 1954, is about a group of criminals that are brought together under mysterious circumstances, they have to work together to uncover what's really going on when their simple job goes completely sideways. In January, it was revealed that Brendan is set to star as a 600 pounds recluse in the upcoming Darren Aronofsky directed father slash daughter dramedy The Whale, for which A24 and Aronofsky's protozoa pictures are teaming up for the first time. The 52 year old plays Charlie, a 600 pound middle aged man living on the outskirts of Mormon country in Idaho, who attempts to reconnect with his 17 year old daughter. Their relationship became estranged after he came out as gay and left their family for his lover, who later died, triggering Charlie's compulsive eating to cope with his grief. MacArthur winning playwright Samuel D. Hunter is adapting the film, based on his 2012 off-Broadway play of the same name. Hunter told Deadline, adapting my play into a screenplay has been a real labor of love for me. This story is deeply personal and I'm very thankful it will have the chance to reach a wider audience. I've been a fan of Darren's ever since I saw Requiem for a Dream when I was a college freshman writing my first plays, and I'm so grateful that he's bringing his singular talent and vision to this film. Aronofsky is known for helming films such as The Wrestler, 2008, Mother. 2017, and Black Swan, 2010, which earned him an Academy Award nomination. Fans are already building up some awards buzz for Brendan, hoping the high-profile gig will serve as his Oscar-worthy comeback. The role might be a bit of a departure for the actor, whose career took off with heartthrob roles in films such as George of the Jungle, 1997, and The Mummy, 1999. Brendan has also made appearances in shows such as The Affair, Trust and Doom Patrol in recent years.